Hi, I'm Betsy Schultz. I'm a public artist. I create sculptural tile murals for public spaces and for private residences. Before doing public art, I practiced graphic design, but sitting on the computer all day was just too stifling and I really wanted to do something where I could use my hands, I could work outside and work with other people. I started by creating sculptural concrete and mosaics in preschool settings. And then I decided it wasn't enough and I wanted to move on to do sculptural ceramic pieces and use found objects to create large murals. I was asked by Pat Welsh to work with her on the Delmar Wall, which really catapulted my public art career. Um, hi, my name is Tyler Blick. I'm a graphic communicator. Uh, as a creative myself, um, I was really admiring the craft that went into this. If one looks at it, if one really observes it, you can understand the mechanisms that had to take place in order for it to be created. The first thing I do is I come up with a concept and then work with the architect to get their original drawings for the building, if it's not built yet. And then I create a photo composition of what my art piece is going to look like on the side of that building or in that environment. Once the design's approved, I make a template and then begin the sculpting process. Once the pieces are sculpted and they're cleaned up, we'll actually create a map. We put that map onto a piece of plastic and then we number every piece on the back of the clay and then again on the plastic so that we can set this on a shelf to dry. Once it dries, it goes into the kiln. When it's bisque, we pull it out of the kiln put the plastic down so we know where all the pieces go. And in some cases, there'll be hundreds and hundreds of pieces. Once the piece is bisqued, we bring it out, and then it is glazed. Since the glaze color in liquid form is different than when it's fired, I create tile samples to help me visualize the final product while I'm layering on the glazes. Once it's glazed, it goes back in the kiln. We put them back onto the map and take a one last look at them. In some cases, we have to refire just to enhance certain places. So once the pieces are in position on the cement board, we'll glue those down with thinset and then we grout it. The grouting is a little tricky, it gets back to painting. So when I grout, I use different colors of grout and blend them all together to create a more seamless image. A lot of people look at it and think that the tiles are one big tile, but that's not the case. They can be hundreds of tiles, and the way we put them together with the grout makes them feel more cohesive. Once the pieces are grouted, then we clean everything, and in the end, we'll put a, a penetrating sealer on the whole piece. The installation is the most important, most complicated parts of the project. So we pack up everything in the studio and we label it. Once it's labeled, we ship it, and then when we get on site, we unpack it and double check everything against the template. Then we take all the pieces and we permanently install them onto the wall or whatever structure that we're putting them on. And then that's pretty much it. My favorite part of the process of creating a mural is is really the process itself. In addition to the public art murals, I also do some private installations. Most of those include not only creating the art pieces or the stone fireplaces or whatever it is that I'm working on, it includes creating the whole space, picking the plants, creating the pathways, creating an environment that works for the people that live in that location. Betsy started working with us on our yard when it was basically raw dirt and we needed some vision. She's a huge talent, very smart, very, very creative, and su super easy to work with, and that's important to me, to have a comfort like that where you can really work with someone and, and uh, you know, pretty, pretty awe-inspiring just to see what she's doing at her home and everything that she did, and um, it was just a complete joy. A piece can take anywhere from and I'm, I'm saying this from design to installation, it can take anywhere from three months to a year and a half. 
my art is different than other public artists. I think because I really I create the sculptural tiles, but also I create different levels of, of texture and information. There was a, a level of quality in the, uh, in the mosaics that were not apparent in other ceramists that we've seen that we talked to. And so it was, it was really a very simple choice. Uh, the, the, the work that Betsy does is very historically correct. It's, the craftsmanship is really, really high, uh, as, as, a, as opposed to others that are more abstract. Betsy does some very, very realistic work, and it's the, the delicate touch of those pieces and the, 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 just the, the, the precision that all of these uh, uh, little pieces of mosaic are, are put together, the way they're put together is just so much higher than anything else we, we had seen. Betsy's really an easy artist to work with. Betsy's gonna be on our, on our list of artists, you know, for every project we do. In a number of my pieces, I've engaged the community to help in the process, particularly in actually building the mural, sometimes making the tiles. It, it's really inspiring to me to teach people how to do this process, but also to engage them in creating something that's gonna be a permanent part of their community.